Hello and welcome to another episode of me playing Lumosity and you hopefully training your brain. When we left off it was Friday, then in my time, and uh, now it's Sunday, which means I forgot. Not forgot, I, I would never forget you. I was unable to record yesterday. So I'm going to, instead of starting my training today, I'm going to do yours. I'm going to repeat my session yesterday for you. For you. But I'm going to choose games that I think that are a little bit more interesting than the ones that it gives me to do every time. So I did this one. Let's do a speed match overdrive. Start out with a speed game. Get all, get all our senses up to speed. Get our brain moving quickly at the start here. An advanced version of speed match. Train your information processing skills by determining whether the symbols match. Once we uh, look at this tutorial, it does require some explaining. Our arrow keys, of course, always. Memorize the color and shape on this card. Does it match? Heh, <laughs> no. Bob, but this one does. Oh, but here's where it gets tricky, though. It matches the color, but not the shape. So we would press down, which means partially. Partially again. This time's a full match, a partial match, a partial match. Not a match, not a match. This game balances accuracy and speed. That's it. Let's play. Or watch me play. All right. This requires some concentration, as you might imagine. It's, uh, difficult, indeed. Ah! Ow! Ah! Are you following along here? That's partial, I mean full, I mean... Uh, I can't speak what I'm doing right now. It just slows me down too much. That's really a problem, because you can't see what keys I'm pressing. I don't know how to rectify that. I mean, I'm not even pressing the right keys every time. Anyway, but... Alright, I think that's a... Not very a good score. Not, not a very good score. See? That's pretty bad. And that's not so good. Alright, well... It's only the third time I've played that, though. So, it's not... I'll get better in time. This is uh, not too bad a score to start out with. He's still above average, I do believe. Alright, let's move on to a memory game. Yeah, we'll go through all five of the categories today. So what next then? Hmm? What to do, what to do... You know what, though? There aren't any interesting games on, in the memory one. Or at least it gives all of them out in the regular training session. I want these makeup training sessions to be a bit different. So why don't we do something a bit different? Let's do another beta game. Train of Thought. This one's probably m the most fun for me to do. I, I enjoy this one more than any of the others. That's just me. But, um... Reminds me of an old game I used to play called Train Town by Ly Lionel. Whoops. <laughs> right clicked. God, those were the days being a child. Childhood. Yeah. Never ended for me though, did it? On YouTube now. It's about as cool as it gets. Whoops. <laughs> Look at that. Alright, if you don't know what I'm doing here, yeah, I probably should have gone over the instructions. Alright, well, what's happening is I'm directing each train to its corresponding station. Now, this isn't going to happen. You know, I'm, I'm not going to succeed, I don't think, because it's just, it gets really difficult. There's a lot going on already, you can probably tell. So... I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it. 
there's a lot of planning involved a lot of timing not very easy very tense it's an intense game alright so these black ones are going to the black station yes yeah, very racist game isn't it discriminating completely by color <laughs> Yeah, that's one way to think of it. Alright. There you go. And there you go. And there you go. And there he goes. And then that one goes. And, uh... There. There. Hold on, I'm doing well here. This is going well. This is going well. That's why I'm not talking. You know I'm concentrating when I my when my mouth isn't moving very much. I mean, my mouth is moving, but it's not moving any words out. It's just making all sorts of contortions, of focusing, and perfect scar new level 10 stations so that was nine there that was nine stations impressive no <laughs> i think yes all right it has to be personal best oh yeah it's the only one it recorded well i've, I've played this many times but for some reason it hasn't recorded my other scores i'll just tell you it doesn't start yet on that level okay i fought through some harder some less difficult levels but sometimes for some reason they were harder when I wasn't talking to you it's weird alright what next mmm let's play uh, top no hmm uh, yeah let's play top champ that's a fun one sometimes it's in a normal training session but not usually so let's do it here compete with your rival to win the most chips and the title of Top Jimp. Alright, so, uh, this is based on the limited hold game. It's, do it's been, uh, used in a lot of neuro research. So, at the start of each round, you choose how many chips you think you can clear from the board. Bet on it. If you bet three chips, and then three chips will appear on the screen. That's how it works. Speed and speed. Chips are worth more points at higher speeds, but earning these chips will be more difficult. And you have to uncover the chips in the order of the numbers. Lowest to highest. Understand? Let's get this started, Nim Chimpsky. You are the most brilliant of the chimps. But I'm smarter. Seven items. Let's try this. Okay. Okay. Done. <laughs> if you're winning, bet safely to stay ahead. Yeah, I'll I'll just go with this four point advantage. You're going down, Nimchevsky. The fastest speed. Did you see any of that? Did that even record? I'm on fire, though. Look at that. Success. Four points. Maintaining the lead. And increasing it, if I can get this correct. Wish me luck. Eight. Nine. Oh, yeah. Ha, 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 ha. Six more points now. Yes. Oh, he's having to bet more than me now to catch up. Well, you just tried that, Nim Chimpsky. <laughs> Be careful not to spill any of this vile green liquid on your face when you lose. Alright, I think I, I, I didn't see any of this. This is bad. This is bad. Ow! Oh, but he missed too, so it's fine. We, we actually got the same number. Okay. Fine. Ow! 
Oh, no. Oh, now I have to bet more. All right. Now it's on, Nimchimsky. Now, oh, come on. Ah, he missed even worse there. No thanks. Shh. Uh, Alright, so I haven't beaten him in a long time. Though, it's probably not going to happen today. Ow! Yeah, just go straight for the nine. That's terrible. Now, now I'm just trying to get something. There. Got some points, but I'm failing horribly. Better luck next time. Uh, I'll get you, Nim Chimsky. I'll get you one day. Another intention game. I think we'll move on from that. Flexibility. Always stretch your mind. Another beta game. These are the best. Robot Factory. Build as many robots as possible. Exercise your response inhibition as you ignore incorrect parts. But how exactly? Well, let's find out. Arrow keys, left, right, and center, or down. There are two center. It's down. It's the down center key. Press any key to continue. Robot parts appear on a pedestal. The pedestal will shake when a part is coming. When a robot part appears on the left, press the left key. Makes sense. When it appears on the right, well, what do you think, huh? When it's in the middle. Oh yeah, that would be down. Ah, for when the part is incorrect, do not, do not press the key. Build as many robots as you can by being quick and accurate. Let's play the game. All right, hopefully I can build all of those in this limited time of one minute, 15 seconds. You can probably tell which key I'm pressing now, so that's good. All right, robot complete. Multiple parts appear at one. Oh gosh, nope. Yeah. Nope. So when a part appears, it starts to disappear. You have to press it before it does that. Making no mistakes is very preferable, I would think. I'm not sure which is better, making no mistakes or being speedy. Right now I'm going for making no mistakes. Let's we'll see how good that is. So I don't even think the shape of the parts matters much. It just, I look for the little red thing on the bottom and the, the sound. So sound is an important thing here. This is the shaking. All right. Well, we we did a lot here. We made all of these bots. Look at that score. Well, uh, they're all happy, aren't they? Question bot. All right. Robots completed eight. Now we'll go rule the world. Okay, there we go. Good score. BPI coming soon. Alright, I do believe we have one more game to do, so let's get that done. Alright, which one of these should I do, huh? Let's try by the rules. That's a good fun one. Logical. And not even timed. Very peculiar. Alright, zooming in. There's a hidden rule here. Figure it out by sorting cards based on their shape, color, or other properties. But only one will matter. 
The rules for sorting will change after getting six cards in a row. Correct. Not a column, just, you know, six consecutive cards correct. Consecutive, probably a better word there, I think. Alright, use your memory. I'm on the top level here. So there are a lot of rules. It could be the outline, it could be this line, it could be the inner line, yeah, the, the shape, the, uh, the color, the gradient. It's probably something else. I'll just, let's just start it. Alright. Okay, it goes right is correct. So one of those rules matches one of these rules. Gradient, perhaps? Oh, maybe it could be one shape. But I'm going with gradient. Gradient. Lucky guess. Lucky guess. That was perfectly a guess, though. So. Alright. Perhaps circle? Let's go with the circle. You have to just pick one rule and stick with it. There we go. Two in a row. Alright. Perhaps green? Nope. Empty? No. The uh, dotted outline, perhaps. Is that what it is? Yep. Outline dotted. No. What is it now? Whoa. I don't get it. Square. Is it square then? It's got to be squared. Yep. Okay, I was embarrassed. That took a little longer. Empty. Empty. It's empty. The fill is empty. Running on empty. Alright. Three. Let's see if it's three of these shapes. And it is. Alright. Blue? It's blue. Okay. Don't be sad, game. Don't be blue. Squared? Alright, I think that's the second time we've had squares. It does that sometimes. It repeats. It's a bit unpredictable. It's good programming. Right, wide. Wide. I don't think the outline was wide there. Whatever. One? No. What is it? Oh, vertical lines. Vertical central lines. Okay. Alright, ten rules complete. Better than I've been doing, apparently, but not as well as I have done. Alright, well, this has been fun for me. Hopefully for you. Funny, perhaps? I try. I fail, but I try. Alright, well, if you liked the video, I guess you could say so on by clicking the like button. If you want to watch other videos, I guess you could subscribe. If you want to watch this video a bunch of times, I guess you could favorite. And I guess if you want to not spend the rest of your life watching this video, I guess you could stop it now because I'm just going to continue rambling on things that don't mean anything to you. Okay? Except I've, I've come, it's come to an end. Video's at an end now. I'll go record the next one, so you can watch it tomorrow, or th today, or w whenever, whenever it comes out. Alright, well, goodbye then.